Any of you guys guess what this truck is? Um, hint, it's old as shit. Be pretty impressed if uh, it's old. It's old, that's for sure. It's an awesome truck. All right, put your guesses down below. No cheating, we'll see if you got it right. And no big deal if you don't, because I wouldn't either. I have no idea. If it wasn't written on the side, I wouldn't even... If there wasn't a badge on it, I wouldn't even know what brand it was, so... We got the old Maxwells today. How are you doing, Max? How's it going? Max, are you a good boy? He's cold, he was eating snow. <laughs> water on the lens it's raining this camera is not waterproof <laughs> all right so yeah you guys may or may not have guessed it but it is indeed a Ford F600 this thing's pretty cool I like it it's not in bad shape so I'm telling what year it is because I have no idea but I know we got a really old heavy-duty truck and a really new heavy-duty truck yeah we're in uh, Cormac I think right now we're headed to uh, in around St. John's, Placentia, little place on the south shore of uh, Newfoundland. You hear that noise? What is that? If anyone knows what that is, tell me that too because it's creepy as sh I was hearing that in the middle of the night. No sir, wouldn't be here. I'm thinking bats, but what it sounds like is a helicopter taking off and Oh! Look at that! That's what that is. So then when the wind picks up, that starts going all foolish. It's a wind, windmill or something. With the chain set up here, we've got this hooked around here. It's gonna do the axle, but there's too many brake lines and everything. Front axle we have done with a chain as well. Just put onto the front axle. So, yeah, looks like Seems pretty much ready to go. We're gonna strap that down. Then we're gonna get out of here. And uh, of course, some of you are wondering what this video is gonna be about. I, I, for, I forget those titles on these things. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about, are we gonna get a cyber truck? Um, they're coming out like in a couple of years, two or three years, they're going on production, 2021, 2022. Should we order one? I mean, <laughs> it's a truck channel, that's a truck. Already so early in the video, I would like to present to you guys the struggle bus. Tiny little grade here, not even sure if you can see it. I'm struggling. Might have to get the chains out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is go back and forth, kind of beat down a path for myself, because I do not want to take the chains out right now. Oh, oh, we're gripping. We are gripping and moving. We're not gonna make it up this hill. There's no way. There is no way. No, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way! We just made it! Holy I'm impressed. Yeah, so I think what happened is the trailer, I cut it a bit too close. And no speed, no traction. Relax. Stop whining, man. Stop it. Stop it. Well, well, looks like this is what the drive is going to look like. That's kind of pretty. 
We're in four wheel drive now. That's fine. This is fine. This is totally fine. So yeah, so I just thought I'd throw an honorable mention out there to the Tesla Cybertruck. Um, it looks super good, right? The three motor one, obviously it's the only one I would look at. 500 mile range, which is like, like 900 kilometers. That's like a tank of fuel, right? And see, the thing with, with Newfoundland Labrador is that range, it'll get you from start east to west. It'll get you from St. John's to Corner Brook, which is like the big city, or Deer Lake. You charge up, go to Deer Lake, to the ferry, like Northern Peninsula. That's really, yeah, it's four or 500 kilometers. You recharge there. And then with that range, you should be able to make it to Goose Bay. And then with that range, like, yeah, then it's another 500 kilometers to Labrador City. So yeah, technically you can make it across the entire province um, just with like four or five charges. And you know, the charges last an hour each. So every time you stop, you grab some foods, you grab, take a whiz, whatever, whatever you do. And you, it makes total sense. I'm, I'd be down for that. Now the thing is towing that 900 kilometers, like in this truck here, when I tow 15,000 pounds, or let's say we'll max it at 14,000 pounds. When I tow 14,000 pounds, I only get about five or 600 kilometers range. Crap. When I'm not towing, I get a 1,200 kilometer range. So we're looking at a drop of, well, yeah, it's half. I get half the mileage towing 14, 15,000 pounds. So that is something that worries me when it comes to the Cybertruck. Um, towing, for my application anyways, it'll be pretty much useless, but you know damn well we'll be throwing a gooseneck ball in that and seeing what it can do anyways. Um, I could see it for doing short runs, little trips here and there, it'd be cool. For towing a smaller trailer, maybe like a special enclosed car hauling, could work. I mean, you could make that work. The design, I think, it's like everyone said, it's retro, very simple, and I like the simple design. I don't believe, I think that's still kind of a concept. Let's see. The way Tesla is, they can do concepts and then come really close to nailing them. Um, they can easily say this is a concept for two or three years in time. So I think the truck is going to be a bit more practical, a bit different, still generally the same, but I don't think it's going to be exactly, exactly that. I mean, let's be real, that truck is a bit over the top. I would get one if it looked just like that. I think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty snazzy looking rig. I'd be interesting to see how it does in the cold because up here, like Labrador City, you know, we're looking at minus 45, minus 50. I don't think it'll be able to handle that. It looks, it looks like a cool truck and I think electric vehicles are cool. Like, like I love standard transmissions and stuff, but I really love paddle shifters and electronic shifting because all they did is get rid of the clutch. You can still control the gears and even the slowest electronic shifting transmission is still pretty much just as fast as shifting for most people a manual transmission electric is getting rid of gears altogether i mean it gives you really good control um, when you let off the the gas you're going to get the braking when you get back on the gas you're going to get the acceleration it just makes it just makes sense getting rid of the torque converters and things like that just having the electric torque it's going to it's, it's going to be pretty cool and the thing with the like I live, I live in the boondocks, and for those of you who don't know what boondocks mean, it's like way out in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. We don't even have paved roads, um, and there's a lot of, you have to have something, at least an SUV that's at least a little bit off-road capable. I mean, cars can do it, but you're going to ruin a car, so like, I've always wanted a Tesla, pretend that I could afford one. The difference is these trucks make money, those cars wouldn't toy pretty much, a car would be a toy for me. This truck I could do some things with, and it would probably be able to handle some gravel roads, a bit of off-road. I mean, that's the future. I'm ready to jump on board. Should we order one? I mean, it's a hundred bucks, and it's refundable. I'd love, I've never even been in a Tesla, actually. I've only seen a limited amount of them. They're not popular up here. Even though there's a few going around in Newfoundland, charging stations and stuff are very few and far between. But I mean, now that Tesla's got a product out that, you know, those good old Newfie boys can fill full of wood. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll see a few more electric vehicles on the go. Just love to take that thing. And it's got the high sides on the bed. I'd love to pile that so full of wood that it 
Yeah, the Tesla Cybertruck. Oh man, what a great marketing stunt that is. So it's just like people lost their minds. It's, it's like a lot of people don't understand the concept of Tesla yet, is they do whatever the hell they want, however the hell they want. I mean, uh, Elon started like, what was it? Like the, the boring company. They just made a flamethrower that worked. They don't care, they don't care. If my viewers have a Tesla, I would love to try one. Now Tesla, I'm also gonna talk about, Tesla's doing the cyber, uh, no, I think it's just called the semi-truck, semi. Um, it's, 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 it's gonna be hard because the thing with diesel, I mean, you see how much diesel is getting pumped around and hauled around, how much these trucks take, not really these ones, but a semi, how much fuel it'll take. Having an electric one be awesome for towing campers, but I don't think society has caught up to it yet. Battery technology, I think, still needs to go a little ways. Not a long ways, but a little ways. They're going to need at least, you know, I'm going to say like a 1,500 kilometer range. I don't know. I mean, you look at a logbook. 13 hours on a logbook, you can you can do, legally do about 1,300 kilometers. If, if they came out with one that could do 11, 1,200 kilometers, you're talking about some big batteries. You're talking about some expensive batteries. So either way, you're looking at huge infrastructure to support like the super high kilowatt hour batteries you would need to power this thing for an entire day haul a lot of weight around it's going to be it's going to be tough i could see it be really awesome for uh people that aren't over the road so like let's say like those pepsi trucks you see going around dragging those little trailers filling up you know gas stations and stuff i think it'd be great for that but i don't think over the road technology is up to that point yet. Yeah, what do you guys think about the Tesla Cybertruck? Is it something that you think, do you like it? Okay, do you like the look of it? And do you think it's a good idea, the way they're going about it? I mean, it's got some cool stuff in it. It's, uh, it's an interesting product. I can't wait to see where it goes. Would I buy one? Hell yeah. I'll buy one. Jeez. I mentioned a few things I don't like about the Tesla Cybertruck. I don't like how they pulled it with like they hooked the chains and they went you know like they, they the Cybertruck pulled the F-150 uphill it was so stupid for one I don't believe in hooking hooking like two trucks together to do a pull I don't think that that is a good test of any of the trucks the way that would have been fair is either the rear wheel drive Tesla or the four wheel drive uh, F-150 that would have been fair. Same tires, the tires have to be the same. You don't know what soft tires that were on the Cybertruck when they did that. Because I mean, the F-150 tires from the factory are meant to be inexpensive and they're meant to last a long time. Naturally, this a tire that lasts a long time will have less grip. So. You don't know what they put on the Cybertruck. They look like mud tires, probably big, aggressive, soft tires. Engineering Explained did a great video on that. It's not about the power. It's not about anything other than traction. And when it comes to trucks, you're looking at traction, the weight, the weight of the vehicle, how much weight is on it. Like this thing, if I don't put enough weight on the rear wheels, I'll get stuck. So it's about the weight that's on it and then Obviously you need some power, but power isn't the big thing. It's just whatever weight and whatever tires you have. So wide tires with a lot of weight. Let's say you take a semi versus a single rear wheel F250 in four low. You put that thing in four in four low. You got all four tires. Let's say it's like mine. You have 13.5 inch wide tires or wider. And you know, you load the bed nice and heavy. You know, you put a big four wheeler back there or something or some bricks couple pallets and four low you air down the tires and then you have the tractor trailer no weight on it even though it's got eight tires and a proper shit ton of torque it's not going to drag that f-250 with the weight on it with the big tires because 120 psi 130 psi there's so little touching the ground there's so little grip like, it's, it's just not going to go. So...
Another thing I don't like about the Cybertruck is how the interior looks. Once again, it's a concept, it's pretty much a concept that they're saying, yeah, we can probably do something like this. To me, that's what Tesla is saying. That steering wheel, I don't think it's going to pass as a road legal steering wheel. Um, I don't know what the laws on steering wheels are, but I don't think you can have... Because if you could have an F1 style steering wheel with no top, just the sides, I think some sports car companies would be doing it. And I don't know any sports car companies that doesn't have the top on the wheel. I know the flat bottoms and stuff, but I don't know any that are actual road cars. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, pro I probably am wrong. List some below. But I don't think... I don't think that'll be... And it, it wouldn't be comfortable for long drives either, like having a steering wheel like that. Everyone likes putting their hands on the top or the bottom of the wheel. I don't know, that's just opinion. Don't like how like the dash is non-existent. Um, it is a nice minimalistic look, but it doesn't look cozy and comfortable. And like has a lot of storage and stuff. It just doesn't seem complete. That's it. The truck doesn't seem complete. It looks like they just welded a bunch of panels together. And back to the rest of the hull, I guess. Yeah, so this truck is super cool. Old F600. I'd like to know what year it is, but I don't. Looks like it has like a dump bit on it. I wonder if the bed dump, I wonder if it works. So yeah, we're pulling it from Cormac to Placentia. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good little trip. Of course, it's gonna be dark when we get there, so hopefully you guys will be able to see something, but uh, camera doesn't have night vision, so. So I didn't film putting it on because I want it to look real professional because uh, he's the owner of a company and he was coming out especially on a Saturday just for me because last night things were too late once I got the new tires put on the trailer so he was coming out I just wanted to get him sent on his way so he could go spend time with his family so but you will get to see offloading it and it will be probably be a shit show hopefully well hopefully it all goes well but you never know you never know headed off and uh, yeah they're offloading tonight I was half hoping we'd get to offload it in the daylight so you guys can see the, the going on but it shouldn't be too bad That's it. That's the end of the video. Um, got the truck offloaded. Everything went pretty well. Always sketchy offloading things without working brakes. Um, technically, the brakes did work on that truck because they were just stuck on. Oh, just <laughs> I didn't like that. I was not okay with that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it made for an interesting video. You know, hauling the thing. Wasn't sure what to talk about, so just while well, talking about the cyber truck, I'm gonna have one one day. I'm gonna own one. <laughs> so this is a re-upload. I didn't, for one, I there was there was no music in the first upload. I guess I didn't finish it. You know, it's crunch time before Christmas now with all the trucking stuff, getting everything done. Hopefully, we'll have lots of videos coming up Christmas time. Like, I should have lots of time on my hands, so it should be pretty good. Follow me on Instagram, Danger Underscore Industries. Uh, there's pictures there. I don't really post there enough, but um, probably gonna be picking up another camera too. Something that's a bit better at night, because you saw there at night, like, you couldn't see anything. It was really dark, though. I mean, there's a camera I can buy that'll show everything perfectly. Weatherproof, so even, you know, in that great Newfoundland weather, when it's pouring rain or snowing like crazy, I'll be able to take the camera out no problem. It should be pretty good. Even better quality videos. So lots of videos coming up, guys. And, you know, you know what to do. You know what to do if you want to see more videos. Uh, you know the drill. Not your first time on YouTube. Guys, this is it for me. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it don't take too long to get it up. You guys, well, you guys have a good day. There's a blink with two eyes.